Okay, part three. Storyline. I happen to like the storyline. Obviously, we were all thinking about what could it be? What is this the burn? Could it be Omega? Could it be the tentacle thingies that have been tossed around in previous Discovery seasons and Picard? We don't know. I like where they went with it. It was creative, unexpected, but still within the realm of Star Trek. But going back to my comments on Gene Roddenberry's vision, as much as I like vision, I like realistic fiction. Now we're talking, talking aliens or what technology that doesn't exist, but something you can set yourself in and feel like, hey, this is a possible reality, a possible future. Right now, the ten pole for me is the expanse. Nothing comes close to it. Sorry, Star Trek. But I think most people that are science fiction fans know that. And that's kind of where I do like the new treks. The Kurtzman era treks. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why I really like DS9. Is that it's more real. The world is not perfect. The universe is not perfect. There is conflict. There is war. As much as we'd all like um, to live in uh, Beckett Mariner's world where Earth is a paradise and a bore. We're not there. Maybe one day. So, part four in a minute.